Welcome back. <laughs> and uh, right now we're about to fry our chicken. Uh, Beyonce is, yes, uh, is um, actually marinated really, this. This is, this is the chicken. We season the chicken with um, salt, black, black pepper, adobo, and uh, we put the um, buttermilk into it. So what we're about to do now is just put this in it and mm. we, we try to cover it entirely with mm -hmm. our crust. Okay. That's the flour and our potato chips. Okay. So please do get me the vegetable oil. Okay. okay. The low cholesterol vegetable oil. Oh. So what we, we do this um, as you, you want to cover it entirely. So well, it has a good crunch thing. and um, crisp to it. So put the entire thing okay, I think it. the other one is the one that is open. Okay. I'll just pick that one up instead. So, you just try to cover it entirely. Well, we've, we've cut our garnishes, our cucumbers, tomatoes, and lemons. Okay. So once the oil is, you don't want your oil too hot because it's going to end up burning what you've done. Okay. So you want it, you know, at the right temperature. What you do is, um, you take a bit of flour into it okay. and you pour it into the oil. If it sizzles, then you know your oil is ready to fry. Okay. So, we're still coating this generously. Coat generously, you know. Let me know when you've had enough oil. <laughs> keep on pouring. Pour the entire thing. Everything? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Pour the entire thing. Okay. So you can see we've coated this and we're just going to fry right away. The potato so chips is Our enough. potato is still, our only baked potato is still in the oven and it's going to cook for an hour while this is going to cook for roughly 20 minutes. And yes, um, this tastes great together. We are adding a bit of freshness to it with the cucumbers, the lemons, and the tomatoes. So trust me, you're, you're in for a treat if you make this at home. Um, husband is going to be like, wow, babe, you did, <laughs> you did a wonderful job. You, you started with this, your husband, something, something. You know, his husband like snatching <laughs> food we are making. <laughs> like we say, it's magic we're making. <laughs> okay, so we wait for the oil to... Yes, to sizzle. Okay. And um, just pick up all your chicken and cover it, coat it, coat it generously with your potato chip and flour with black pepper in it. Okay. So let's not forget, while we were making our onion roasted potato, we made use of onion, we made use of chilies, we made use of a bit of garlic, a bit of olive oil and a bit of butter. And we seared our potatoes and baked it in the oven. We're baking it for, 20, for, for an hour at um, 200 degrees. Okay. While this, we are cooking it for, this is soft chicken, yes. Please make sure while we are making this at home, make use of soft chicken. Okay. If you make use of our chicken, it will cook true. Oh. So yes, you have to make use of soft chicken. Mm. Yes. Um, so there's hot chicken, there's soft chicken. Make <laughs> use of soft chicken. Don't make use of local chicken. Make sure it is soft chicken. Yes. So how how how, how, do, how do you like your, your your chicken crisp? Of course, that's my favorite type of chicken, crispy chicken. <laughs> It's I'm really looking forward to it. Don't even start on me today. <laughs> okay, so uh, the oil, will yes. you try it to yes, see? Yes, let's try to see if it's ready. Just okay. put a bit of it and... Is no, it? it's not yet no, there. No, it's not. Okay. It's not yet there. Okay. So... So we try to coat it generously. Make sure your coating is on every part of it. Because okay. if it's not on every part of it, you won't get that crisp effect you want. Okay. Don't forget we're making crusty chicken. So it has to have the crust on it. And if you're just tuning in and you're wondering how come the flour looks caked, it's not just flour. We also have uh, potato, potato chips, chips in, in it. it. Yes. Yes, that's what's making it. Uh, yes, like and this it's thing. it's um, the potato chips. It, due to um, the fact that you have potato chips in it, you don't need to over season it the flour again. Just add a bit of black pepper to it, and you are good to go. Yeah. M meanwhile, while you are frying your chicken, ensure it is golden brown. That is the standard. You do not want burnt chicken. You okay. do not want dark brown. You want golden brown chicken. So let's Fantastic. just check once more if our flour, our oil is ready to fry. Uh, okay. It's almost getting there. All right. Uh, while we wait for the oil to get hot, let's uh, connect with Titi and Maria. <laughs> yes. Wow. Something smells so good in this kitchen. Wow, wow, wow. But um, <clears throat> to go along with that amazing meal Beyonce is putting together, you need to be aware that there are some simple, delicious recipes in basic containers that make drinking water interesting. While detox water is one of the most popular tools for weight loss, 
to come around in recent time. And for so many reasons, uh, people are just beginning to embrace this body purifying process. Uh, Maria Ugoji is uh, the founder of Grandma's Garden. She'll be taking us through the whole process of giving us the nutritional benefits that you can gain from both types of water. So there are two types of water these days. There's that whole fruit infused water and then there's detox water. So can you give us an idea of what the difference is? Um, fruits infused water, detox water are basically similar to each other. The difference now is what you infuse in the water. So okay. detox water is that water which you put um, fruits, vegetables, mm. and also you, you make sure that those fruits and vegetables are mm. vegetables that have um, weight loss benefits. Okay. So that's Fantastic. basically what detox water is. Okay. The water that has fruits and vegetables with mm. weight loss benefits. Benefit. Okay, so now why do people need to detox? Um, can I use a very basic example? It's like saying, why do I need to service my car? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So you have, your body is, um, is like an engine. It does everything. You are eating all sorts. Yeah. You are doing all sorts. So yeah. one, most oftentimes you just need to... Like refresh. Flush it out. out. You know, okay. let it be able to move easily. For example, your organs, your yeah. system, they need to, your bowel, you need to, you know, take this while to help it, you know. Just basically service your, your, your yeah, own engine. Yeah. Like the way we change our oil yeah, and everything. Like greasing it so everything yeah. will just move easily. Fantastic. I think we should take a look at the ingredients that we have right here on the table. So mm -hmm. the first thing I can see is good old ginger. Yeah. So tell me a bit about how ginger is great for detox. Okay, we all know that ginger is anti-inflammatory. Okay. It means um, if, you, if you put it in your water, mm. it helps to calm the nerves in your body. Okay. Like sometimes you find that, okay, after working out, or I went to work today, yeah. quite stressful, moving up and down the stairs. So once you add this to your water, it helps to calm those nerves inside your body. I, l I love the idea of that. I'm yeah. going to get some uh, later today. Mm -hmm. But there's something else here, cucumber. I'm a big fan of cucumber, but tell us why this is important for a detox. We, we know cucumber is, very, is a very hydrating fruit, in the sense that it has plenty of water in it. Okay. And then cucumber has this um, enzyme called um, talafans that help you oh, okay. break down um, proteins that you consume oh, wow. and you know, help you store them as lean, as lean muscles. So with cucumber in my detox water, or well, just eating cucumber generally, I'm actually helping the proteins to Cu do cucumber, better work. Cucumber is great, trust me. Cucumber wow. is great anyway. Mm. Eating it alone, putting it in your food, yeah. infusing your water is fantastic. All right, so there's some greenery here. What is this? This is mint leaf. Mint leaf. It looks so fresh. Yeah, like because I got this this morning from the garden, from my garden at home. You have a, a garden? Actually. Yes, I do. Okay, so grandma's garden <laughs> is actually a garden. So most of the, the, the things you use in your, your, um, in your, you know, at your place is fresh. Grown? Yeah. Wow. It's, we, what, what we try to encourage, we are like an advocate for healthy living. Okay. So really, this doesn't cost you much. Okay. This now will not, once I take what I need, yeah. I don't need to throw it away. Okay. I just leave it here for some days and then the roots will come out well wow, and then see. okay so if you leave it in water for some for mm. like a week the roots will come out and then i plant it back into my garden so nothing is wasted okay and we encourage eating our fruits very fresh i think we should make some while we're discussing some of the okay. other ingredients okay let's uh, take a glass okay yeah i'll make it in a, in, in, in the jug. jug okay so i'll encourage you you know it's recommended that we have eight to ten glass um, glasses of water every day yeah. so you have a jar like this with your um water water then you get your ginger okay you don't need so much just like um you can actually grate it if okay. you want okay but for this um just explanation a just a little like five shavings okay. because not everybody likes that peppery taste that peppery taste mm -hmm. and then i'll take half of this cucumber please um one thing you need to no, is before you start touching all these things, you know, it's something you, you Again, inject, it, yeah, it, uh, ingest, raw, yeah, yeah. yeah, ingest, sorry, raw mm -hmm. into your system. So please, clean hygiene. Okay. Wash your hands. Okay. Wash the vegetables with basic things like salt okay. and water, which I have done already. Okay, fantastic. So, um, so the cucumber, the, how many slices would fill this? We'll use um, just half of this okay. to get this out. Then just cut. Mm. 
very thin rings like this. Oh, wow. Because I try, you can see the juice is coming out. Yes, already. I can see it myself. But does it have to be this thin? Can't I just throw chunks in the water? Uh, we just try to get out the okay, I think, uh, nutrients as possible. Yeah, I think that's quite a bit. We'll try to get like. All right. Okay. So. Mm. I'll okay. try not to okay. touch it so much with my hands. All right. So uh, after the cucumber is added in, what do we add next? I believe this is lemon and lime. Okay. No, this is lemon. So we have okay. two types of lemon. We okay. have the foreign and we have the local. Okay. It's All fine. Right. Any any. We have to take a short break, and when we come back, I'll be tasting some of this amazing detox water. You are so welcome back. Maria from Grandma's Garden is still here to take us through the process of detox and fruit infused water now maria has been giving me some info while we're on, on a break but tell me about what you're holding in your hand right now okay, so this is the mint leaf yeah we talked about that earlier yes so uh, what i'll do i just take out one like this okay and then i'll pl i will pluck out i'll pluck it out from the leaf the leaves because okay. i want it i want to break the sack okay and, it's, and, then, and then, like I said, it's washed with salt. Okay. Then I throw it, and you can smell the... Already, yeah. I can smell it. Yeah, so, so this is the same mint we have in, like, you know, chewing gum and all that. Uh, kind of. So kind this, of but this is, this is healthy. This is mm. fresh. This is natural. And it's easy to, to store in the house, yeah? It's easy. You can just have it in a pot. Anytime you want to make your juice, you just, just take, take it. one, throw in there, and you're Fantastic. fine. Okay. And you're fine. So is this enough for this whole jug? Uh, because we want to detox, we want um, quite a bit. Yes, quite a bit of, okay. uh, of it. So, what, what about the lemon? What uh, the lemon that you sliced here? What are the benefits of lemon to this uh, detox water? Lemon, like we know, is good for the skin. Okay, helps to give you that glow mm. in your skin, mm. and also is also good for good for um, cleaning out your. Detoxing your, your system. Okay. Yeah. So this is a lot of lemon. It does feel like lemon can be overpowering uh -huh. sometimes. Yes, it does. it does. For people that don't really like the lemon taste, is there something else I could do? You could use the, um, the grapefruit. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Grapefruit. grapefruit is also very good. It helps to um, suppress your appetite. Okay. Also very good. So what do I do? Do I pound it or <laughs> mash it? Okay, or there, what do there I are do? two ways. You, you can cover this up. And leave it in the fridge overnight. Okay. And consume the next morning. You put it in your water bottle. Yeah. To work, to the gym, to just move around with it. All right. Or you could as well stir it up. Okay. And just. And you're good to go. Okay. So can I can I taste this? Yes, you can. I'm actually quite thirsty now <laughs> that I've been watching all you this can, slicing. You going can. You can. You can. So basically, this could just be in my fridge on standby for Yeah, me. but please, you have to make this fresh. But you shouldn't store this for more than 24 hours. Okay. All because right, the fantastic. leaves will begin to decompose, the okay. everything will begin to look, and then it can, it can begin to grow bacteria in it. Okay. So please, it should not stay in your fridge for more than 24 hours. All right, fantastic. All right, so now, uh, if it was like frozen, like in ice cube kind of frozen form, would it still have the same benefits? I wouldn't recommend you, f you freeze it. Okay. I wouldn't recommend you free. Just leave it in your fridge. You can right. still, even if you don't want to put it in the fridge, you can still leave it on the table right. or wherever. Move so uh, as quickly as possible, how many times a week should I, you know, be consuming water like this? You, we know we should consume eight glasses of water. It okay. is water already. Okay. So you can take this every day. All right. I'm going to go ahead and taste this and see what it tastes like. Okay. So now... What I'm getting is I'm getting the cucumber. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting the ginger. I'm thinking I would add more yeah, ginger. Yeah, if you want to. If you like okay. ginger so much. I love the ginger taste. You can add more. To but it. I have to say a big thank you to you, Maria, for coming into the thank studio you. today. Thank I've you. learned something new. I'm going to go buy some mint leaves. This was a really interesting DIY session. So yeah. grab your ginger, your cucumber, your lemon, lime, uh, your mint leaves. And don't forget to wash all your fruit and veg with Very a little important. bit of salt. Yeah. Uh, well, we are going to be heading... Uh, for a short break, but we have an amazing Nollywood actress coming up 
next on The Couch. Stay with us. And we are back, the entire studio, filled with the smell of fried chicken right now. Honestly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so she is a sizzling Nigerian actress, best known for her role as Keche in the movie Two Brides and a Baby, as well as her role as Peace Mwosu in the popular television series Lekki Wives. Kira Hiwatch is here with us in the studio. Not to forget this amazing actress won the Best of Nollywood Award for Best Breakout Performance in 2011. And she's been nominated twice for the Golden Icon Award. So that's how good she is. Help us welcome her. <laughs> Help us welcome her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank welcome you very Kira much. to the show this morning. It's good to see you. Looking nice. Thank yes, you very much. And, Thank uh, you. And you woke up at four in the morning yeah. um, just to come and join us here. <laughs> About was that, it because yeah. of the food or... Um, well, I was I was excited to get invited here. So, <laughs> well, hopefully, you. hopefully you'll be joining us for breakfast. Oh uh, yes, because you know that fried chicken has just <laughs> woken my appetite up. So yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, okay. A, yeah, go a ahead. lot of people, you know, don't really know your story. You know, so how you started and what made you go into acting in the first place. You want to give us a little hint? Um, yes, I was. Um, I've always been a fan of you know, the arts. I, I was a kid, uh, grew up with uh, Enid Blyton in watching Tom and Jerry, you know, and uh, I saw The Sound of Music and it was the movie that literally changed my life. Wow. Yeah, because I said I want to be one of those kids, you know. I want to do what they do, so, and I held on to it and, you know, <laughs> here I am. So growing up in uh, sort of, uh, Two different countries, uh, as you would look at it, Nigeria and Ghana. Uh, lots of people say people in Ghana are a bit more relaxed, laid back. In Nigeria, we're always just hustling. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's true, or? Well, I, w I was in Ghana over ten years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, about ten years ago, and um, at the time, I didn't quite see much of a difference between Nigerians and Ghanaians, ex mm -hmm. except that um, they were much more friendly. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, who, uh, who exactly are we talking about? Ghanaians were much more friendly. Uh oh. And <laughs> she went there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I mean, you, 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 the way you would interact with a total stranger, mm -hmm. maybe on a bus or at, at a mall, it's this something that just makes you feel like you guys are just living in a big village, you mm -hmm. know? So you have okay. to. Yeah. So it yeah, was. So it's a smaller country, so yeah. you, you yeah, might expect so, that. Yeah, yeah. But then that, that was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know about now. I haven't been back there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, <laughs> I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay, so, um, you know, you talked about your inspiration, you know, growing up and some of the things that, um, you know, brought you out into, into the movie industry. It's been like six years since your um, Breakout Star Award that you won. <laughs> and I know you've done a lot of things since then. You know, um, you're working on something new coming up, uh, rule number one or something like that. Yes, yes. It's a romantic comedy that hopefully should be out towards the end of the year. And um, it's, it's funny and <laughs> yeah and I like the fact that it's funny and it's it basically talks about friendship I, you know um, I, I felt really happy to get the role because um, I haven't seen stories where they talk where they just concentrate on two girls who were friends and mm -hmm. their friendship you know and what just goes on in their lives you know and um, yeah so I'm just really excited about it and I'm um, I know that my fans are going to love it. Right. All right. Are you where you, you thought you would be at this stage in your career? Or do you think you, you wanted to be further than this? I mean, everyone wants to, you know, be bigger than wherever it is that they are in life. That's just, you know, life. But mm -hmm. um, I, cannot, uh, I cannot take for granted uh, all the blessings that I've, you know, I've received over the years. So where I am isn't where I would want to be, but it's not that I'm you know, I feel bad about it, you know. Okay. Um, it's just to work harder, you know, to just keep, be focused and be persistent. But, um, yeah, at this point, I think, that I, I think that I'm right where I'm supposed to be at this point in my life, in my career, in my mm. life. Mm. One, one of the things that um, I know you participated in, in the Lecky Wives um, series, um, that was one of the things that, of course, made you popular. Yeah was a series that suddenly became, you know... <laughs> Such a big deal. A, a big deal, a household name. <laughs> Did you expect that that would happen for just a regular series? Um, 
I had no idea what the scope of it was going to be. Yeah. I, I just I just knew that it was, you know, it's another job, you know. You you get it, you do the best that you can and you hope for it that people like it. Right. And um so it was it was sort of a shock to me when it became this big thing, you know. Um and then you see yourself in traffic and people <laughs> selling the DVDs and all of that, yeah. It yeah, it it it, it was a little bit um startling you know and uh i i try to get used to it but to be fair uh we didn't i i don't think that we thought it was going to be as big as it was and then when it when it got that far i mean we all just were really grateful about it and yeah. we're riding on it basically right. <laughs> excellent so um i have to ask this usually um like of course one of the things that once you became popular and we saw it on blogs and all of that was there was always this comparison between you and Mercy Johnson. <laughs> I know you're two different people, and yeah. I, mean, I, I, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't even really see the resemblance. So maybe they're making reference to maybe I don't know whether it's the acting, acting style. style. What um, do you think about that? Uh, I actually don't know. Okay. In all honesty, like I don't personally, I don't see um, the resemblance. Maybe because that's that's what happens to people. You know, someone can tell you that oh, there's someone who looks like you, mm -hmm. but then when you see a picture of that person, you're like you're trying to find your features yeah. in your face. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. what about them? You know, looks like me. But mm -hmm. um, I I think that people just sort of latched on to what was going on at the time yeah. when okay. it became a thing because it was it was um, for two brides and a baby, and the fact that the story was kind of similar to what was going on in her life at the time, okay. and which was not even true. It was mm -hmm. just. It was just some certain details that were, you know, close. And we talked, the producer talked about the fact that the script had been written a year before we even knew Mercy, Mercy was going to get married. So, um, but people just kind of latched onto it because they, they cast a dark skinned girl, blah, 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 you mm -hmm. know. But no, um, I think she's an amazing person, first of all. So. You met her? Yeah. Oh, met yes, her I have. Yeah. I have. <laughs> I've met her a couple of times. Mm. And she's, she's, she's sweet. Oh. Wow. Okay. So uh, we're supposed to take a, a short clip of one of your um, films. I don't know if that's available. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't know you. We've been talking for the past two hours. No stranger does that. What do you want from me, old woman? Money? Jewelry? A job? What? None that you can offer me. Because in the end, they all return to dust. So what do you want? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a powerful clip. It's Kira, he watched there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we know you've got, you know, great things, you know, ahead of you and, uh, and all of that. And uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. And I just want to ask, I want to ask for a friend. <laughs> you want to ask Are you friend? single? I want to ask <laughs> for a friend. Yeah, right. If you're single. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, um, for a friend. Yes, of, course, for a friend. of course, of course, friend, friend. you know. Yeah. I've got a ring on my finger. Exactly. Yeah, you know. Just <laughs> saying. Uh, well, right now, yes, I am. Okay. Yes, and you know that's. Are you all happy I'm now? Are you happy now? Gonna say about it. <laughs> I think we should go eat. Yeah, we should. Okay. Try to get some <laughs> Let's go to the kitchen, and uh, Kara, come join us. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. So let's see whether Beyonce. Okay, Beyonce has outdone himself this morning. Oh wow! Oh, I wow. always outdo myself. Yeah. No, yeah. but this no, one is this one is special. <laughs> Not outdo. All right, take a seat. Please this, take a seat. This looks like art. It yeah. does. Like well. <laughs> Uh, it looks like there's going to be loads to eat today. Well, we, we have here um, crispy chicken, crusty Tixi. chicken, and uh, oh, only baked you. potatoes. Um, we made the chicken out of buttermilk. We made okay. use of milk and lemon. And um, the potatoes, we, made, uh, we used honey, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, and uh, what have you. And we just garnished with cucumbers and tomatoes. It's beautiful. Thank it is you. beautiful. Really Beyonce, nice. really, this time I am actually very... Upset. I'm I mean, not the one in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm upset. I told you you would be. I, I am really upset, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Regrettably, we're out of time and we have to start saying our goodbyes. While you take a bite, oh. let's say bye and uh, well, without oh, saying, we can't go without saying a big thank you to Payport Food Stores for the groceries. And of course, we want to thank Homely NG for the kitchen accessories as well. And uh, my hair is always looking so good for last place thank you louisa made this amazing outfit and lj accessories they are hooking us up as well and thank you to our beautiful guest kira he watch yes, see sir. you tomorrow bye, bye. <laughs>